In the center of South America, high up on the Brazilian shield, rivers run together to form the Rio Xingu. The Xingu is one of the most unique rivers in all of South America, despite the fact that it contributes only around 5% of the water volume of the Amazon. It is a shallow river that runs over bedrock substrates with clear water and experiences a huge elevation drop. This unique set of circumstances has led to the evolution of a spectacular fish fauna, with many species found only in this river or even restricted to a small sector of the Shingu's rapids. Clear water and solid substrates allow sunlight to penetrate the river, giving rise to a dense layer of biocover that feeds microinvertebrates and in turn led to a huge diversity of sucker-mouthed catfish of the family Loricaridae, among other unique fish. Dark substrates, bright quartz pebbles, and interplay of light and shadow camouflage fish with spectacular contrasting colors. Fish of dark base with white or yellow spots or stripes and unique mouth shapes to feed on the underside of boulders, horizontal or vertical crevices, geothite covered sandstone and lava, or sandblasted bright orange gneiss and granites. Spectacular predators known as pike cichlids stalk the colorful algae-eating catfish and other fish, but also have become miniatures feeding on tiny microinvertebrates hidden in the biocover. Piranhas, giant catfish, and a kaleidoscope of rocket-shaped anostomid fish occupy every niche in the rapids, where spectacular rock formations give the Shingu an otherworldly view, at times obscured by shadows or the bubbles of the rushing water. The rapid elevation drop in the Volta Grande sector, where the Xingu falls off the Brazilian shield into the Amazon lowland, is one of the most spectacular sights in South America. Here, the river continues to change with seasonal water levels, running in hundreds of channels formed by thousands of small and large islands, with rapids and riffles of water teeming with rheophile fish adapted to this unique environment. But, like many wild places, all is not well here. The headwaters of the Xingu are threatened by industrial agriculture, logging, and illegal gold miners, destroying the forest and clouding the pristine headwaters with their runoff. However, the greatest danger is the Belo Monte project, a gigantic hydroelectric dam completed in 2019 that diverts massive amounts of water from the entrance of the Volta Grande, redirecting it for many kilometers and dropping it directly into the Amazon lowland. The inefficient project has never run at full capacity, but also destroyed the most vital dynamic of the river, the annual flood pulse caused by the huge water volume increase during the rainy season. Without this event, fish cannot access spawning grounds and the trigger crucial for their life cycle has been reduced. Long term, this could have devastating effects on the river and the unique fish living in it. Since 2015, members of the Applied Remote Sensing Lab, in collaboration with Ictio Xingu and the Laboratorio de Aquacultura de Peixe Ornamentais do Xingu of the University Para, have been researching the Xingu, publishing a series of papers about the land cover change, the effects of the dam, and the river's most unique and endangered fish, the zebra pleco. Check out this video's description to download the papers. During this time, myself and Dr. Leandro Sosa from the University of Para have been photographing the spectacular fish of the Xingu, resulting in Xingu Below Water, a book that showcases the river and its inhabitants. Come and check it out at the McGill Library.